Hi there and welcome to the short introduction of a tool we've developed recently called the MIDI Audio Synchronizer. I've had some issues with my local network where I couldn't set up a decent connection between Touch Designer and Ableton. I was looking for a more stable approach where I could export MIDI files with the corresponding audio files and load this into Touch Designer. It's also convenient for situations where you haven't installed Ableton on your workstation and vice versa, or don't have a license for Max MSP. Eventually we've ended up with a simple tox, free for you to download and experiment with. Just like with any other tox, you just drag it into your project file. We have this media looper container. If you go to the media one tab, two fields, MIDI file and an audio file. The MIDI file is basically a recorded MIDI node sequence in your DAW could be Ableton or Logic, anything else, any preferred DAW you're working with. And if you record that MIDI file through a sampler, you will end up with an audio file. And if you export both these files, you can load it up in here. So I have this MIDI file recorded. It already pops up. The convenient thing with this tox is that it already filters out the notes that it doesn't need so it looks at kind of movement on all the channels and it just deletes all the other channels where there's no movement involved so pick the audio file like that and close this with a null Go inside with this audio file in. I'm going to place it here on my main window. I use a select. Press P, drag it over here. And take the audio device out so we can actually hear something. Like this, set the BPM first. I happen to know that this one is 124. And if you press play, you see that the uh, MIDI and audio are in perfect sync. If you feel like that the MIDI is slightly off, you can use this frame offset slider. So basically shift the timing regarding playing of the MIDI notes on frame ahead or back. You can specify the range here. If you need more space, just crank up these values. It's minus five to five by default. And this is just showing the offset like that. This value over here is showing the length of the MIDI file. And if you fill in this value in the bottom left corner over here, since this tox is based on your timeline, you will end up with a clean loop or you can choose once and it will stop at this frame. So if you are recording some kind of session, it automatically stops at the right frame and at the right moment where the audio also needs to be stopped. So that's basically it. I hope you find this stocks convenient 
and it will fit nicely within your own workflow. Feel free to comment or email for tips and tricks, bugs or any shout outs. Please like and subscribe to stay up to date. It's a free talks available at our Patreon. Have a look at a couple of other developed tools and we'll catch you up next time.